On today's episode of Galoach Riding with Trey, what could have happened inside of this high school back in 1955? Stay tuned. So we are in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and this is Baton Rouge High School, where on May the 2nd, Monday, May the 2nd, 1955, inside of this high school's auditorium, Elvis Presley performed two shows. So here's an ad I found for that show. It says Capitol Records star Farron Young and his Grand Ole Opry show of Baton Rouge High School Auditorium featuring Doyle and Teddy, the Wilburn Brothers, Decca recording artist Mama Maybell, the Carter Sisters, Oni Wheeler, Elvis Presley, and many other stars. Two big shows. First show, 7. Second show, 9 p.m. Monday, May the 2nd. You can buy tickets at Burt's Camera Center or any Hickory Pit barbecue. So at this point, you see Elvis's last name is still being misspelled in newspapers. But this is the back of Baton Rouge High School Auditorium where Elvis's pink and white Cadillac was parked at before he went into that show. And guess what, guys? I got to explore it. Check this out. The very stage that Elvis played on Monday, May the 2nd, 1955. Doesn't get any better than this, right? Check this article out I found. One girl that was at the show that night said that Elvis came out last of all, although Fair and Young got top billing, Elvis was dressed in a dark sport coat and light colored slacks, and his shirt collar was turned up. His hair was combed into ducktails in the back. He sang That's All Right, You're a Heartbreaker, Good Rockin' Tonight, and a few other songs. He was just as good looking as I remembered and as before moved around a lot on stage. Elvis was a sight to behold with the sexy good looks and movements that drove us girls wild. Bill was kind of clowning around as usually did. The girls, including me, were screaming and clapping. After he sang what he said was to be his last song, the audience called him back several times. He sang a few of the country popular rhythm and blues songs. We didn't want it to end. I know I sure didn't. So imagine what it would have been like inside of this auditorium the night there in May of 1955 when Elvis is on that stage in front of us singing That's All Right Mama and Good Rockin' Tonight. This was his view. So now let's imagine all those girls screaming and clapping and standing in those chairs and just having a good time as Elvis is right here on this stage. He and Bill Black and Scotty Moore just rocking and rolling, not knowing what the future holds. And look at this picture I found of Elvis and Farron Young and others uh, performers that was on that bill that night. This picture was captured on that very stage here at Baton Rouge High School auditorium and somewhere the picture was just right here in front of us elvis was once upon a time in his life can you envision elvis standing right there on that wing waiting to take his cue to come out on stage and start singing that's all right mama i'm sure he did i'm sure he did because he definitely was on this stage back in the day I love finding these old theaters, and I love it when they're still here, like I said. I mean, it just it doesn't get any better than this to be able to capture this and know that Elvis and the other performers, um, Mother Maybell, the Carter sisters, they were right here. This was one of their shows. I mean, just they were just having the time of their life at this point. And Elvis on this stage, all over this stage. And look at this picture that I found. Here's Elvis and Bill Black on Monday, May the 2nd, 1955, right here on that very stage that you're seeing in front of you. I wonder how many girls was right there in that area in front of those chairs. Man, oh man, I bet that show was unbelievable. Hey, and I also found out that Elvis was parked. That girl that I read the article from said that after the show, his pink Cadillac, pink and white Cadillac, was right parked right outside here of the auditorium, and he signed autographs and just cut up and just had a good time. Hope you enjoyed this episode from Baton Rouge High School in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It's been one of my favorites to find. Thanks for watching this episode of Glow Trotting with Trey. 
Don't double dribble. Subscribe. It's free. You stay updated with every new video that I upload, which is once every Tuesday, and special ones here and there. Please like this video if you like it, share it, and until next time, I'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching.